my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Waters Part and What Walls Fall Reaching the Promised Land. Let's read. Moses sent 12 spies into the Promised Land. Ten of them said, We will never defeat the people there. But Joshua and Gallup said, with God's help, we can do it. So Joseph sent 12 spies before they go there. And 10 of them said, we will never defeat the people there. They were very tall, they were strong. The land was so good, but we can't go there. But Joshua and Gallup said, that we can do with God's help. Uh, but actually many people listen to the other 10 peoples. The people were frightened and believed the ten spies. So God said, only your children with Joshua and Gallup will enter the promised land. After 40 years in the desert, it was this time. So the people were frightened and they believed the ten spies. So God told them that only your children with Joshua and Gallup will enter the promised land. So after 40 years in the desert, it was the time. Joshua and Gallup believe God would help the Israelites enter the promised land. True. Joshua sent spies into Jericho. They met a woman called Rahab who hired them and helped them escape down the world wall. They promised to spare her and her family. So Joshua sent two spies into Jericho and one woman knew that Israelite Scott is so powerful so Israel will win. So the woman met the two spies and she helped them to escape so the spy and woman promised to spare her and her family. Israelites crossed the Jordan River. The priest went first carrying the Ark of the Covenant. 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 When their feet touched the river, it stopped flowing. Everyone crossed on the dry land. So Israelites crossed the Jordan River. The priest went first, carrying the ark. When their feet touched the river, it stopped flowing, so everyone crossed on dry land. Jericho was 
Christmas, the Lord told Joshua, March once around Jericho every day for six days. Then on day seven, march around seven times, blow trumpets, shout, the walls will fall down. So Jericho went was next. The Lord told Joshua, march around Jericho every day. And on the seventh day, God told them to march around seven times and blow trumpets and shout. Then the walls will fall down. Question. What were the priests carrying across the Jordan River when God stopped it, the water from flowing? Number one, the tent. Number two, mm, what should I say? Their stuffs? <laughs> Number three, the ark. Number three was the correct answer. The priest carried the ark. Joshua trusts God, he did what the Lord said. He and the walls fell down. They took the city. Rahab was spared. God's people began to talk and to take the promised land. So Joshua trusts God and he obeyed to God. So they were able They were so they obeyed God, so they were able to enter the promised land. And the walls fell down. Because Joshua trusted and obeyed God, the walls of Jericho fell down. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.